So we are looking today at new trends in tourism, how tourism has changed in recent years due to economic, social, and environmental factors, and how these perspectives are shaping the way that we view travel and travelers. Now, the first thing that I want to discuss is the growing trend in what is called responsible tourism. Air travel is becoming cheaper and easier. The number of people who want to travel is increasing, especially from emerging economies like China. So the tourism business is booming, but th this puts a lot of stress on the environment and it raises a number of issues which responsible tourism tries to address. Now, responsible tourism can be defined as tourism which minimizes the negative economic social, and environmental impacts on the host country. It should also make positive contributions to the conservation of the country's natural and cultural heritage. And in addition, responsible tourism should benefit the local people by involving them positively in the tourist industry and ensuring that they're paid fairly. So, responsible tourism has three main aims. First of all, to reduce the amount of energy resources consumed in global travel. Second, to protect the local communities from the, the negative impact of mass tourism. And thirdly, to limit the amount of overseas travel. In response to these three main aims, I want to argue that responsible tourism has several key principles. First of all, a responsible tourist should understand the place they are visiting, its culture, its economy, and its politics, and show respect for these things. Tourists do this when they read a guidebook before they visit a country. It's a simple enough thing to do. And it's something which prepares travelers for interacting with a culture they are going to visit, knowing what to wear at a religious site or how to greet someone politely. This shows that the tourist is aware of the cultural difference and that they're interested in observing it. Responsible tourism also means supporting the local economy. So, for example, rather than staying in a hotel owned by a multinational corporation, a responsible tourist will stay in a hotel run by local people and use local guides or services wherever possible. And I would argue that this is the most important factor in responsible tourism because any money they spend, any income which enters the local economy in this way has a better chance of staying in the local economy and supporting local growth. In addition, responsible tourism means being aware of your impact on the environment. Renting a bicycle rather than a car to visit the surrounding area is an example of this. Another example might be using a company that doesn't waste resources, like a hotel that only washes your bath towel and bedding when you ask them to. Responsible tourism may involve different practices in different places, but I would argue that the most important thing is the attitude of the traveler. The respect that the traveler shows to the people and environment that they are visiting. By showing this respect, both the traveler and the host can benefit from tourism. The host benefits economically because more tourism brings more money into the region. And the traveler, well, the traveler benefits from knowing they're making a positive contribution. They get that feel-good effect. Furthermore, by showing respect, the traveler creates the conditions where he or she can get closer to the culture of a particular place. The more you respect a culture, the more likely it is that you'll get closer to it 
and see parts of it that outsiders don't usually see. And increasing our knowledge of different cultures is, after all, one of the main purposes of travel and tourism. Responsible tourism has several key principles. First of all, a responsible tourist should understand the place they are visiting, its culture, its economy, and its politics, and show respect for these things. Responsible tourism also means supporting the local economy. In addition, responsible tourism means being aware of your impact on the environment. The traveler benefits from knowing they're making a positive contribution. They get that feel-good effect. Furthermore, by showing respect, the traveler creates the conditions where he or she can get closer to the culture of a particular place.